Hello kids! Welcome to Home Economics. This video is all about manual sewing machine. Parts of the manual sewing machine Upper part of the sewing machine Lower part of the sewing machine This is the head or the arm of the sewing machine This is the spool pin This is where you place the spool of thread for the upper threading This is the balance wheel if you turn this balance wheel, the needle will also move. Bobbin winder. Bobbin winder is used to load empty bobbins or refill thread on the bobbin. This is stitch regulator. It regulates the length of stitch if you want to use long stitch or short stitch. This is thread take up. This is connected to balance wheel, so if you're going to move the balance wheel, it will also move. Upper tension. Upper tension regulates the tightness and looseness of your stitches. Thread guides. Here, thread guide, and another thread guide near the needle. Sliding plate or slide plate. If you open this, it will lead to the lower threading. For lower threading, this is where you insert the bobbin case and the bobbin. Bobbin case and bobbins of thread. You will insert this on the bobbin case for the lower thread and then put it below. Throat plate. This is presser foot. Below the presser foot, feed dogs. Needle bar. This is the needle clamp. And of course, this is where you attach the machine needle Before you start sewing you need to insert the cloth And then lower the presser foot to clip This is the presser foot lifter or the presser foot bar lower it To also lower the presser foot and to clip the cloth Lift it to lift the presser foot. This is the cabinet of the manual sewing machine. So we have the rollers where you can put your sewing tools. Lower part of the sewing machine. Okay, we have here the drive wheel. It has a belt that is connected to the balance wheel on top. If you move the balance wheel, the drive wheel will also move. If you move the balance wheel, the needle will also move up and down as well as the thread take up. This is the treadle. This will help you run the machine. We have here the pitman rod. It is a rod that is connected to the treadle and to the drive wheel. We have the legs of the machine which serve as the framework of the whole sewing machine. So there you have it. The parts of 